Hello, welcome back to Keyboard. We are going to be covering Chapana, the bass notes, how to play them. So I've printed out the music. You don't necessarily have to print it, you can just be looking at it you know, on your iPad. Do you need to read the music at the same time as you play? Well, that is a very good thing to be able to do. But you might find that if you can play B, A and G, and you know where F sharp is, you might find that it's easy just to listen to the music um, and follow the changes that you hear that, that are coming um, in the different sections of the song that you start to learn. Like the chorus has only got B's and A notes. In the verse you sometimes go to G and when the didgeridoo solo is coming it's always in F sharp. So it's quite an easy thing to follow once you are quite familiar with how the song is working and, and the form of the song, the verse chorus form of the song. Okay, so. I'm looking at the music here. I'm going to go back over to my keyboard angle so you can see what I'm doing. I can install some, I could add some cards into this video if, if you wanted to see me, um, to which sheet I was looking at. I'm doing intro. Now this is really easy, it's just B's and A's. Now from our warm up you already know how to do this. You, you should be okay at playing B, A, G. If you're not, then you know, get out a book or look at a note chart, find out where B, A and G are. And F sharp is this one. If you haven't played F sharp before, it is the first of a group of three sharp flat keys. The sharps are coming in groups of twos or threes. F sharp is the first of those three. You know, group, first of a group of three. Okay, so the intro. Long notes or whole notes with B's and A's. Two, three, four. B, then down to A. One, two, three, four. A, and then back to B. That's easy. That part is repeated. And then we go to what we've called dig solo. We've got the F sharp note here. The rhythm is T, T, Ta, T, T, Ta. Two eighth notes and a quarter note, and you just repeat that. You might want to go down low. You might find that you like to try some different sounds on your keyboard. What's this one? The third line, keys solo. In this part you can hear some really cool piano coming in and we're going to cover that bit just like this. B, 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 A, 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 G, 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 A, 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 A. So that's the end of the intro and then we're into verse 1. We're going to go back to long notes. Not really much piano happening in the first part of the verse so we're just going to go long notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then back to B. And then down to G, G, back to A, and then B. And then at the bottom of the page we've got four Bs. Then we go to the second half of the verse and we go, we do the same notes but we're just going to add some rhythm. Back to B. Now down to G. finishes just with four B's and then we go into the chorus which is more of a similar thing it's just B's and A's staying on A and then back to B so you have to listen for it and you can look on your music see how it stays on the same note in bar 3 it doesn't change but then it goes back to B and then you do verse 2 so whole notes again B's and A's. Repeating the A and back to B. Down to G. Then we go back to the chorus. So adding our rhythm. Okay, so after you've repeated the chorus, 
the last part is um, just more ditch solo and then another verse to finish. Now I'm going to play the whole thing with the metronome at 90 which is quite a bit slower than the recording. The recording is, a, is at about tempo 120 or a bit quicker than that. So tempo 90 is going to give us a good chance to practice um, our rhythms and just make sure that we know, you know how to change from one note to the next. So here we go. The song played with the metronome. From the beginning. One, two, three, four. A back to B. B then A. A back to B. Then F sharp. back to B when the keyboard comes in. Down to G. Then back to long notes. B, this is the verse. Back to B. Then down to G. Back to A. Then B. Four B's here. Second part of the verse. Same thing, but with rhythm. That's our G there. Hear that G? Four B's. One, two, three, chorus. Stay on A, then back to B. Then verse 2, back to long notes here. some more rhythms. Then keyboard solo, we go like this. C sharp, A, it does that four times. Verse 3, so back to long notes. Oh no, it goes back to the chorus. And then, verse 3, long notes again. So having a bit of a break from our rhythm here. You've earned a break then. <laughs> After all those solos, that plays again. Okay, then chorus. Always back to the chorus. You should be getting pretty good at now. That repeats.
Okay, now the ending. Live it up. Live it up. Live it up. Live it up. Sunset dreaming. Finishing on a B note and holding it. Whoa, what a workout, guys. Now that took a bit longer because our tempo was, was a bit slower. We were at 90. Now the original recording, actually I'm using the live recording that was was taken in 1992, Yothi Yindi at the ARIA Awards. I'm going to play that recording and I'm going to play along with that, okay? Now you might find that you know you like to follow the music so you know which bit you're up to. Or you might like to just listen out for chorus and you know that the chorus is really easy because it's just B's and A's and you can follow that. So use your ears, listen out for different sections of the song, know where your F sharp is and you should be okay. <laughs> 